Claire Robinson left a career in corporate America behind to follow her true calling, and that is a very good move, not just for her, but for all of us as well. These days, she's the host of not one, but two Food Network shows, Challenge and Five Ingredient Fix, plus another career milestone this week. She's our chef on a shoestring. This is really what you've been dreaming of. It is. This morning, is. right here, which means you get to prepare a three-course meal for us for under $40. We hope you came in under budget anyway. I did, but actually, I'm doing a four-course meal. Ooh, throwing a yeah. wrench in there. So four what, recipes here. So, so what is on the menu then this morning? Okay, so I've got a mixed green salad with raspberry vinaigrette, mm -hmm. an orzo with like mint and feta, buttermilk fried chicken with Ooh. some pecans for the crust, and um, little mini mascarpone tarts with strawberries. And I have to say, you know, one of the things I love, we talked about this break, there's so much great color on this table. I feel like spring is finally arriving, so thank you for bringing exactly. some color in this morning as well. Well, so here's the thing. I make five ingredient recipes, and then to put me on a shoestring, <laughs> right? that's a challenge. You're our girl. That's a challenge. So, <laughs> so let's start off with the with the salad. You have some beautiful mixed greens right. here. Any green you want? Any green you want. Okay. You just want whatever your favorite is. This is really good with spinach. Uh, and we're going to make a really quick homemade dressing. I call okay. these blender dressings. So a little bit of fresh raspberries. So am I throwing this whole bowl in here? A whole bowl okay. in. And then some pomegranate juice. There's a runaway. I'll try not to step <laughs> on it. And then a little bit of stone ground Dijon mustard. Um, I find, and this is perhaps just me, but you got to have a really good mustard for you your do. vinaigrette. Why is that, though? You know what? It, when you're working with few ingredients, you want to make sure you're using the best quality. Right. And um, if you like Dijon mustard, use Dijon. You want to use things that you like the flavor okay. of. So right. if you don't like stone ground, no, not yet. So let's Ooh. put a little salt okay. and a little pepper. And then the uh, lid on and just give it a little whiz. Okay. And then once it kind of gets going, we're just going to take that top off. Perfect. Okay. And then take the, just the middle part off. Okay. And so then, I can drizzle. Then drizzle the olive oil in. That easy. And do I, I put never all of this olive again. oil in? Because no, it looks gonna like a go, lot. We're going to turn it on first. Okay. All right. Now drizzle slowly. Slowly, slowly. Nice. Is that good? That is good. All right. I'm Simple in. Simple as that. And, and then that's we have what our it finished looks like product. Finished and then all I do is just toss Drizzle this. it on and toss. How Perfect. easy is that? You just made the whole thing. And my work Five is done here, people. Perfect. And there you see the finished result with the uh, raspberries. Thanks for the applause, exactly. Raggy. I and appreciate it. And you can put it. a few extra raspberries in there. It's five ingredients. Healthy, beautiful, I'm fun, in. spring. Okay. Next up, we have the chicken. chicken. This is my favorite part. You get to pound chicken. Did somebody tell you that I, <laughs> that I had some aggression or something this morning? I, I did. I heard that you were, uh, you know, you got some in a ba family way. baby world. So uh, have some fun. Here we go. So we're pounding yeah. out the chicken. Pounding out the chicken. And the reason we're doing is because we're going to fry this, and I want to make sure everything cooks evenly. Okay. So if you have, like, a big old ball of chicken on one side. It's not going to work out very well. Right. So pound it nice and thin. Put it in a, uh, a dish, pour buttermilk on it. Buttermilk? Let it okay. In buttermilk. And how long? I'm a southern girl. Right. <laughs> That's why I use buttermilk. Uh, for just a few hours, you know, you can be just an hour if you want. But at least it's, an hour. At least an hour. It's okay. going to make it nice and creamy, and uh, this is what it looks so like. So here's when our finished product. So it's marinated for a little exactly. bit. And then you've made here pecans, this pecans, depending on where you live in the country. Toasted pecans that I've pr uh, put in a food processor with a little bit of panko. Okay. So that's going to give it a nice, two. extra crispy crust. And a little salt and pepper. Gotcha. And then it's as simple as this. You just coat it, and we're going to put it in We've got oil. a little pan here, and so you're yes. going to cook and this, this is, for five to seven minutes, you said? Right. Vegetable oil, and um, about five to six minutes. Okay. Vegetable oil, and it's really just, um, you want anything without flavor. Simple. Okay, for your oil. Right. So as you throw that so in we'll there. we'll do that so we don't splatter you. Thank you. We're getting a little time time. We've got about okay. a minute left. You're serving it with this beautiful orzo. With the orzo, five mint. ingredients. Mint, uh, feta, squash, and a garlic-infused olive oil. Yum. Mini mascarpone tarts. Did you make the little tarts or did you buy I, these? No, this is puff pastry rolled it out with sugar. A little mascarpone on top. Perfect. Strawberries, a little bit of balsamic. This is in, one of my favorite it. tricks. We talked about this in the break. A girlfriend yes. of mine taught this to me. You would never think balsamic vinegar and strawberries, but it makes them really sweet. It does. It brings out the sweetness. A little bit of tang. And what's great is I reduce this down in a pot, and it gets nice and thick. So that'll give thick. you a lot of flavor. So as right. you put those together, let's take a look and see. Thank you. Would you hand me one of those forks, too? Absolutely. As we take a look and see, we'll get the team in here, how you oh, did on the budget. The <laughs> here we are. Yeah. Okay. We're here to eat. How so did I do uh, on the budget? Ooh. Let's see. Hand me one of those. Let's see. I'm you going get, for one of those. Yes, 38.43. I'm thinking that's pretty good. Hey, Are you tell on me four you're the, recipes? Four. Look at that. Look at that. Recipes. Recipes. We need, we need, oh. No, it's not fair because you did have four recipes. And that chicken, by the way, is delicious. Just try to bite the chicken. La. All right, I'm going to talk to the judges about this, Claire, and see what we can do. Exactly. Oh, I was going to really? say, I should be at the top of the list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, really, four yeah, really recipes, five really ingredients. Good. Pretty good.